Hello Trudors, hello everyone, my name is Gregor Horat and welcome to our new episode of Surfing the Elliot Waves where I will look at some of the most interesting developments for this week. This video has been brought to you by Orbex. I will look at dollar yen, silver, DAX, crude oil and euro against New Zealand dollar. Now firstly let's take a look on dollar yen. As you know this market is coming to the upside. Looks like that there is room for further strength as US yields again are trying to find some support so it looks like that inflation is still the main concern and uh, we would not be surprised to see us dollar continue to do quite well especially versus yen because of this um, tapering uh, and policy expectations uh, from speculators. So what we are lo looking here is a free wave drop that accomplished this uh, corrective fourth wave. So I'm observing and looking for more upside, especially after uh, 114.45 breakout. I think that there can be a straight move up towards 116. But keep in mind that this could then be a final lack of an impulse when tracking or looking at the whole price action back from September 15th. Now let's take a look also on silver. Now metals were higher um, and looks like that they're still higher because of, as, as I said earlier, inflation is the main concern here. Um, and obviously metals could do quite well in this, uh, in risky times, I would say. I mean, stocks are still in a very strong uptrend for sure, but they are just overextended. So sooner or later, there will be shifts in those flows. And I think that metals could be quite interest. now, interesting. Now, when looking at this monthly scale chart, I think that there can be a very nice pullback here for a wave B, maybe even wave two. So watch out for a big third leg to the upside. Looking at the daily chart, we have recently seen a move out of this wedge pattern that been had tested uh, after this uh, spike here in uh, at the start of November, looks like that we are now trying to turn to the upside. And I would not be surprised by more gains ahead, especially if we also consider that um, silver might accomplish this bottom formation within head and shoulders pattern. Okay, you're now above the neckline. So as long that's the case, of course, neckline can be retested a few times, but as long we are quite steadily above that neckline, I think that there can be more gains coming. So I'm looking for a continuation towards $26 and then even $26.70. These are swing highs from July and August of this year. Okay, um, now let's take a look also on German DAX. Now, German DAX is um, in a very nice and strong uptrend. You are in a fifth wave, but even this fifth wave has room for further strength here. I'm looking for the 38.2% projection uh, of wave three, measured from end of a wave four. So that's my fifth wave target up there around 660. So there is room for more upside, um, especially if we also consider that this rise from end of a wave four here from October lows, uh, can still be ongoing five wave or impulse for a fifth wave. Okay, so that's uh, wave one, you had a wave two, nice potential five waves up for wave three that can be now at some resistance here. So watch out for a potential new setback and then these previous highs, okay, from August could actually again be very nice and important support around 16,000 for the next fourth wave. You also have this fourth wave consolidation of a smaller degree. So that's definitely the definitely important area where we would love to see price stabilization after the next dip. Now let's take a look also on crude oil. Now crude oil, uh, in my opinion, is still in uptrend, still looking very, very strong. But on a daily chart, just keep in mind that maybe this move is overextended. You are, after all, in a fifth wave. And we also know that markets never move just in a straight line, there are always a um, few steps back before market may resume the recovery. So maybe this uh, current sentiment is approaching the end of, uh, of the cycle. I would really not be surprised to see this slowdown uh, as we approach the end of the year. So I'm looking for a fifth wave targets around 86 up to $90 per barrel. So that's 
where I have these FIB levels that could limit uh, the upside here. You also have this uh, upper, let me just make this a bit more precisely here. So you have also this upper line of this Elliott wave channel, which is quite important whenever we are tracking the final stages of a fifth wave. So there can be a limited upside, definitely around $90. Um, but for now, it looks like that there is, as I said, room for more upside. $90 is the target on the daily level or around 88. Uh, while you have uh, this on a four hour chart, where you have potential ongoing correction. I'm looking this to be a way for, it can be a triangle if we'll just keep consolidating between uh, 77.50 and $85, then this could be still a triangle with subwaves D and E still coming. Or if we suddenly just break this 77.50, then watch out for potential support around 75, 76 area, okay? So overall, I think that this can be a correction on the way up because a drop from the highs is look, it's not really in five waves and fits to be more like a correction rather than impulsive reversal. Now let's take a look also on Euro against New Zealand dollar. Now um, th these cross pairs are very interesting. We may see a lot of uh, volatility on these um, currency pairs because of central bank's divergences in their policies. As you know, um, ECB is still fine with the current policy. So uh, while the others are maybe already speculating that uh, we will see increase in rates, especially like uh, maybe in the UK. Uh, so I think that some, some courses can be very interesting. I also think that New Zealand dollar could do quite well, especially versus the euro. So here, what I'm looking at is very nice ongoing bearish impulse and looks like that we have room for further weakness to accomplish this five wave drop uh, from uh, August of this year. So looking for more strength in the very near term, especially because the rise here was in three waves, as you can see on the four hour chart. And we know that free wave movement represents corrections. And these are poses within ongoing, uh, ongoing trend. And these are the patterns that we want to pay attention on whenever we are looking for opportunities within the larger trend, which is down. So we previously had also very nice impulsive characteristics. So definitely I want to uh, look into this direction. Looks like that this recent free wave price is already completed. It was a very nice way for rally back into the former wave, um, wave four, which was actually here, sorry. And then you have also 38.2%. In that area, you also had this wave C equality to wave A. So overall, it was very nice technical resistance from where we are already seeing a nice continuation or reversal back to the low. So I'm thinking about more weakness here by the end of the week. Traders, thank you very much for attention. I hope that you enjoyed this video and again, talk to you next time. Bye.